Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is a live attack video. Uh, I'm not going to have all of the face cam and all the other stuff I usually do, just my screen, and I'm going to keep it pretty low editing, so a little bit of a throwback in a sense. This one is from the scrimmage we're doing this weekend, One Hive Genesis, One Hive Alpha, getting ready for CWL starting next week. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit sick, because I am. But despite that illness, I'm going to try to get the 3-star in this base. I can't show many bases from this war because we're testing stuff out. But this is one of the bases I can show. Um, I think this base, it looks kind of familiar. It might be um, kind of an old base that he's he is holding on to and just decided to use for this war. So I'm going to try a Queen Walk La Lune on it. La Lune is very strong right now. Um, so I think it's a good chance to give it a try. And... Um, if anything, kind of get ready um, for CWL. Just kind of get my skills together, and even if it doesn't work, I can still learn from it. Good experience to have this kind of uh, uh, planning and attacking, especially 10v10. So let's get into the plan. Enough said. Basically, I'm going to start off with a wizard for these two buildings right here. Keep in mind, this has not been scouted. Don't know CC or Teslas, which makes it a little more uh, interesting for the attack. So I'm going to start with the wizard there, then my queen basically right here with four healers. Um, she should step up, take all of this out, and step up for these three buildings in here. Um, and as soon as she's taking this stuff up, or taking that stuff out, before these defenses engage her, I'm going to drop my king right here, and um, from there he'll just walk around this direction, I believe. I'm going to slip in. I have a lot of wall breakers. So even if there's like a cannon that's targeting them, I still will have enough. I'm going to open up the wall here so my queen um, is able just to kind of walk right in here, uh, take out the CC, take out um, all of these defenses. I'm hoping to not even have to use a rage on her, which is a possibility if the king tanks for a while. But I have a rage if needed, plus her ability. And um, once she's taken out point defense, she is pretty safe um, because she will either kind of come back out and around, or just uh, sit and try to go through a wall, and then just encounter these kind of storages and stuff. The king might be an issue, but that won't be uh, for a little while. So the queen should be fine for a while. Um, I will use the rage before the ability, probably, um, just because I want, I want the ability for, like, the king, because it's important to have the queen up at the end of the attack. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is kind of here and there, because I, I am a little bit sick, so... Once that's done, um, trying not to take too much time, I'm going to drop like six or seven loons directly at the Inferno. I'm going to drop a haste right here. Then I'm going to keep my hound away from this this um, air defense right there because uh, it just doesn't make any sense to uh, waste a hound because the single Inferno will lock onto it. So I'm going to drop my hound uh, right there. Then I'm going to drop like six, seven balloons with a haste. Then like another six right here. There's a gap in the base so I can drop them directly on top of that air defense. I'll drop a minion at the very beginning to test for like um, any Teslas or uh, red air bombs just so I'm ready for it. But um, just going to, no need to haste or anything. Just drop them basically on top of the air defense. They'll come in, uh, take out the air defense. I have two hounds, so I'll drop one more like that. And then that's going to be the main push for my loons. I'll have a rage for like right in um, in here. And I'll also have two skelly spells for the queen. I'll be nice and patient because there are bomb towers. Can't afford to uh, leave the queen up for this attack. And finally, I'll have like five more loons and a haste for right here. Um, I also have a heal spell for this area because there's wizard towers. And... <clears throat> excuse me, um, I'm thinking the queen will maybe get this air defense, especially if I save her ability, so that would be helpful because I don't have a whole lot for this back end uh, to get this last push to the inferno and air defense, so hopefully the queen kind of meets up with the Laloon, a bunch of minions back here, I'll get them down as soon as possible, and uh, yeah, should be a, a good good try here, I think I have a decent plan, um, going to be some surprises with Teslas and CC troops, but We'll just kind of go with it. Um, let's make sure all my have the one poison for the uh, CC troops most likely. Um, that's probably where I'll use it. 
the two skellies, three haste, two rage in the heel. If I don't have to rage up my queen, if I'm lucky, um, I'll just go ahead and rage up the loons again, I guess, where needed. Can just be more uh, liberal with the spells on them. Uh, but it looks like I have all my troops. I think this one is ready to go. So let's hop in and give it a shot here. Number uh, 19, Nano John. Okie dokie. So one more time in my head, just so I know the wizard, queen, healers, king, wall breakers. As soon as my queen's doing okay, we'll start in with like six loons. Maybe do seven, go a little heavier. Haste on there. Then hound, loons there. Haste, loons here. And then just kind of drop my spells in one more group at the back end to meet up with them on that mortar to help push them uh, towards this last inferno. Um, it'll be like five loons and a haste. So everything sounds good. Because I have 23 loons, I can do like uh, six, uh, six, and like six or seven. So I can drop them in those kind of groups and uh, should have enough loon numbers to get through the base here. Two Lava Hounds is decent, especially because they should be kept away from that first Inferno. They shouldn't pop very easily. Okay, everything sounds good. Um, let's give this one a shot. Okie dokie, we are in. Uh, drop the wizard first. Actually, we'll drop the minion first, then the wizard, then the queen. All right, minion, test is there. Wizard and our queen with her healers on her. I might just go ahead and use a haste um, a little lower down just because there's test is there, so I gotta make sure I um, get that area taken out really quickly when I drop my okay get ready for this king as soon as she steps up to this all right and now here's our test we'll just save this wall breaker don't need it you see is coming out looks like there's nothing on my queen right now I might get away without having to use that ability. Got the rage ready. Yeah, I'm gonna get away without having to use anything on her. Very nice, let's get this Laloon going. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Haste, go ahead and drop a Hound here. Okay, this is kind of weird how this one's working out. I am not the best Laloon deployer. Um, we'll heal up these loons. Yeah, we'll get these minions down for cleanup. This one's not looking too good here. Uh, yeah, I just bad Laloon deployment. Um, we'll see how this one goes. Drop a skelly on the queen right here. My queen was up. This walk was fine. Um, let's just get all this stuff down. You know, I might be able to salvage this one. Uh, it depends what this queen does. Is she going to go through the wall? That's what I need her to do. A uh, single inferno got onto her. Yep, yeah, that's going to compromise this. Um, if she had shot the wall and gone through, I might have had a shot here. Um, this one actually is going to be remarkably close, I think, considering how, um, can I maybe bring the healers to tank if I drop that? Nope. Okay. Yeah, this one's not going to work out, but despite my very, very poor Laloon deployment, um, I'm not great with loons. Uh, it actually almost worked out because I think the queen walk was just such a great walk um, without having to use a rage or anything on her. Uh, we'll take a look at the replay though, see exactly what happened, if I should have gone heavier. Um, I'm not sure what the healers are, they're healing up one skeleton, okay. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the replay, see exactly what happened on the Laloon, because um, I'm going to donate a skeleton here if I have one. I think I have max skellies. Because um, it just didn't go the way it should have on that Laloon. Let's go ahead and... Uh, 
take a look at this one. We have the wizard, here starts the queen. This base, I swear I've attacked a version of it before. Of course, not with single infernos, not with the same Tesla placements, but I think the actual like overall wall layout is familiar. I don't know if any of you guys have seen this one before also, but something about this thing just looks familiar. But this was a good walk. Um, wall breakers were fine. I held a wall breaker because I didn't want to break my queen all the way into this compartment by the cannon. Um, you can see right there, if a third wall breaker came in, it would have opened that. So I just had that wall breaker there for backup. Poison was good. Those two witches can be a huge uh, nuisance. If that one poison that I had missed, I would have been in some trouble. But um, they die very easily. The barbs from the king were, did a great job tanking just because there was no splash damage. The wizard tower is too far away. So the, all those barbs that were spawned did a great job tanking. Didn't take too much time either, just about a minute for that walk. Now right here we have to figure out what happened. To explain what I was thinking, I just let the inferno lock on to those loons right there. Then I thought, okay, it won't lock on to my hound. I can just drop a hound directly on the air defense and um, the loons from there. I think it was being too late on loons like up in this area that might have cost the attack because they just kind of were all discombobulated as they entered the base. So right here, um, quite a few air traps, but the Inferno Tower goes down, which is the important thing. The loons cutting across are kind of dead in the water. Part of the problem is, I look um, at it right now and you see like a Wizard Tower, um, Queen, and Teslas, all that aren't really going to be tanked because these air defenses are so far outside. The Lava Hounds can't exactly do a great job tanking. So right here, I kind of panicked a little bit and just dropped a bunch of loons. Um, but yeah, very discombobulated motion. I needed these loons up top to kind of be there much earlier to push everything through the base towards the queen because the way it worked out, the initial push got pretty much destroyed by the Tesla queen. Uh, even that wizard tower a little bit probably, and um, it just didn't work out. I had plenty of La Loon power, just the uh, the setup on the back end of the base there was difficult to La Loon, and my deployment wasn't great, so should have gone a little heavier. I mean, could have basically just spammed in all those loons, um, but the original plan I had actually was better um, in terms of coming in up top first, then dropping a group down here by the Teslas and that air defense and making it so they kind of push towards the middle. Should have stayed more with that plan just because I needed those loons to kind of go in one big group because the Lava Hound locations, the air defenses aren't great, so I'm not going to get a whole lot of tanking. Now right here, if the queen had just... I See, I held the skeleton spell because I was thinking the queen's going to shoot this wall right here. Now, if she had, I would have just waited, and as soon as she got through, dropped the skelly spell, distracts that single inferno, and uh, I basically, the queen might have been able to finish off the base here. Um, it's just that Inferno Tower being up uh, that's going to ruin it. So the last 40 seconds here, um, not a whole lot going on. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked it. Um, it's always fun to record a live attack. Um, let me know if you like the other interface. I think the picture is a little clearer when I don't have um, the face cam and the Discord chat and all the other stuff. I often have in these types of videos, um, but I, both setups I can see benefits to, so let me know what you think about that, and uh, yeah, that'll do it, maybe get, be able to show some more attacks from this war, can't show a whole lot because some of these bases we are testing for CWL, including my own, but I'll do my best to get some content out, and uh, thanks for watching, see you in the next video, Bisectatron out.